University Games is a company that brings generally uh, educational games, questions and answers, quizzes, etc. And the last video from the company that we unboxed uh, was the Five Second Rule, which was an interesting game. Um, very, very cool little device to measure the time that you have to answer and give three answers to whatever question you're asked. Uh, and a very simple mechanics that pretty much anyone can can learn within minutes and children absolutely at all, I can tell you. This game is slightly different from that one. Actually, no, it's not slightly different. It's very different from that one. And this is really called the really nasty. This is not just the nasty or the horse racing. No, no, this is the really nasty horse racing game. Um, I am not a fan of horse racing. In fact, I quite oppose it. I don't really like it at all. But I do like racing games, so I'm, I'm curious to know what's inside this box. Remember that this video, though, is not a review of the gameplay itself. It's just a review of whether the components of the game are worth the money that the company publishing that game is asking you for. So, without further ado, let's take a look inside. I know it's meant to be full of stuff, so let's see. Uh, as, as mentioned earlier, random paper. Uh, as mentioned earlier, these games tend to be very simple, and indeed, this is just the rules. It's basically an A4 sheet of paper with little in them. Not bad. So far, so good. I like these kind of games. Then we have the board, and the board feels actually heavy and solid. This is nice, although it's not particularly thick. Take a look at that. It's, it's thick enough. It's not particularly unflexible, but then that shouldn't matter too much. And the seams are very good, so I'm okay with that. The board itself is actually very shiny. It is very shiny, and it is well protected, which uh, means very reflective as well, which you probably can see by the reflection of the lights, um, and. Um, I reckon this will probably survive quite a few splashes of whatever drinks you happen to be drinking at the time. It's very simple. It does fit very nicely with what a race course would be. So, yeah, very simple graphic design. There's nothing uh, revolutionary about it. There's, there's nothing, you know, groundbreaking. But it does what's meant to do was meant to do and is pretty enough without being too colourful so yeah I I like this. I think this is actually does a very good job it was meant to do. Uh, this is the bookies board and this bookies board is going to be used with this felt pen marker where you can draw on and then just get rid of to make your fingers Sorry, that's the wrong finger. Filthy. But that's fine. This is thicker, slightly. It feels very nice. And the pen erases very nicely, even if it is just with your fingers. So, that's good. A little box. with the horses, which are semi-transparent. I don't know if you can see, if I do this, you can probably see that. They're not very easy to see unless you are against some sort of white background. So I don't know what the point of doing this is. Maybe it's because they looked fancy at the time of prototyping. Uh, the plastic is not particularly thick, but it bends nicely, which means it's going to last, and that's very good. And these come to be mounted on these pieces. Let's take out one where you simply just slot the horse inside. And that's it. There's one thing to be said about the plastic though, and is that it's going to be a lot more durable than cardboard or than card at this thickness. So even though I don't particularly like how the colors are not very easy to distinguish because of the semi-transparency of the whole thing, 
I give credit to the durability that the plastic will bring. So from that point of view, it's not necessarily a bad thing either. It's, it, it will work and will make the game last longer. There's a pencil to write things down. This is the bets book that the players will use to place bets on whatever horse they will think it's going to win. Um, this will probably will, will probably this at some point will run out. I don't know how easy it is to get the spares, and maybe University Games can comment in this video and let us know what people can do if they want to get any more of this. Um, it may be worth though to make a couple of photocopies of this, so you can actually um, have many as you wish, so you can keep using them um, time and time again. There's a deck of cards with the king as well. The graphic design of the cards is basic, at least. Let me place a few of these here so we can take a look at them. The graphic design in the cards is very simple indeed, and the illustrations are just fine enough. They're quite funny, they're witty, they're quirky. And then we have these uh, little trophies or awards or shields or whatever it is, which do not go with the rest of the illustrations, and I don't understand that. Um, it is, it's, it's, although all of those things are consistent with each other, but they're not consistent with anything else. So I wonder if this style uh, of illustration matches with this style of illustration. I don't think it does. Which is a shame. It's, it's a real shame. The quality of the material is okay. Again, it's nothing to uh, set the house on fire about. But they're fine, and you get in the back, you get the really nasty cards. Quite a few of those. And the lane cards. And the race cards. And the really nasty cards. Wow, that's a lot of them. So these are the cards that you're going to be using during your gameplay. And then, last but not least, we have the money. Uh, if I may just do this. The money is very Monopoly type money. There's nothing great about it. But it does what it's supposed to do. It's, it's just little bits of money. Nice design. They are reusing some of the illustrations in the cards, which I don't know how I feel about that. But they are funny. They all follow the same pattern, with just different color. And there's a ton of that. It's a huge amount. It's a bit of cardboard here. It's quite a lot. Oh, and you can get a million. Hey! So that's it. That's what's in the box. I do like, though, and uh, praise indeed to University Games for having this lot, uh, a kind of device where you can have everything nicely tidied. The game is not the kind of game that would attract me to play all the time, quite frankly. But I can actually see people of a certain age or having this out as a party game, as a quick snappy game that you can get on with and, and just play with your friends with people who are not really into playing board games. I think that would be quite interesting. The quality of the components is great. That is really good and there's no doubt about it. The cards are a little bit on the flimsy side. The art direction is a little bit lacking. But generally speaking, it's actually very good. The two boards are excellent are very very nice and the fact that it comes with your um, pencil and your felt, pit, felt tip it's, it's actually good, it's good attention to detail I don't think this game will, components wise, 
go into the uh, records of history as one of the greatest. But if you want to give a game to somebody who is not into games, you're probably not going to go wrong with this. So worth considering.